Hello everyone, this is Brittany with Redeemable Junk, and I'm here today to show you how to make an envelope pocket. Pretty simple, it's a pocket right here, and when it closes, it just goes up underneath that brad and it wraps around. So let's get started. Now you're going to have to work with me if I have a few brain farts, because... I'm doing this live as I make my reference journal. So, I might have to think my way through some of this stuff. So we're just gonna start with an envelope like this and we're gonna glue it shut. And I just cut the very tip of this off. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna take this back piece off of there. So what I do is I just, you can use a razor blade, I just use my scissors and I cut down the sides. Doesn't have to be a perfect cut. But you don't want to do what I just did. Like I said, you have to work with me. I always, I'm never no good at cutting on this side for some reason. There we go. And then what I do is I go down about another quarter inch. That gives you room to put it in, to put your tag in. I fold it down and then I'm just gonna cut that across. Now I'm cutting into my cellophane stuff. Don't worry about that because I'm gonna be covering that up. So I'm not really worried about it. So now what we have is we have a little bit of space right there. And I'll show you. To reference. The thing I don't like about this pocket is it has some uh, a decoration on the inside. I don't really like that. But that's okay. So the paper that I've chosen is a printable from one of my kits. I'm just using scraps. I've just decided that... Um, I'm going to use scraps and just go with the flow with this journal and just try to have a little bit of fun with it. So, I guess I need to decide if I want to cover the whole pocket or put paper behind it. Let's just start with the whole pocket first. And like I said, I'm going to use my tear ruler. I'm not really going to measure anything because I just don't feel like doing that today. If I tear too much off, I'll just put a book page back there. That's kind of my thought process right now. I don't know. I kind of... Then I was thinking about putting this up there. I just don't want it to be too much where it falls into itself. You know what I mean? Here I am talking to myself again. <laughs> well, actually, I'm talking to you guys, so... I just don't want it to fall into itself. That was my only problem. So, I wonder how it would look with the book page. I'm going to grab one real quick. Hmm. Not really sure. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this down to start with. I know it's bigger than my envelope a little bit. But if I need to, I'll just cut that off. I'm going to go with the flow, and if it don't look good, I can always remake it. I, uh, I tell myself I wasn't going to put... I was going to try to relax and enjoy myself on this journal, with this journal. Because all my other ones, I'm just trying to get them so perfect and make them so perfect that it almost takes the fun out of it, really, when you do that. After a while, it does. Not immediately, but it just it becomes almost like a job. And I caught myself turning my hobby 
into a job, which I am very good at doing. I did that with my, now my full-time business. It was a hobby of mine to begin with. I turned it into a job. Now, I really wish I would have put book paper behind that. I think it would have looked better. I wonder if I could take that off real quick. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put book page behind it and then book page on top. Ooh, it's ripping. Come on now. Work with me. I know you can't be that dry yet. Here goes some of that cellophane. Oh, well. <gasps> no! Okay. I saved it. So, this is what I'm decided I'm going to do. Does that fit? If it does, I'll just put it down where it's wet. It didn't cover it all up, but that's okay. I'm going to go around it with my um, glue stick. wet so it's not wanting to really tear. As you can see. Okay. You know, I think I like that better. We can move it down a little bit. Even though you can't really see most of the book page, we know it's there. And then, put the book page top on top. Let's see how that's going to look. The thing with a junk journal is it doesn't have to be perfect. Hmm. What do you guys think? I almost think it looks too plain almost. Bland. You know? I have some stickers. I wonder if those would look good on there. Be right back okay I said I was gonna not think too much about all this but I guess I was fibbing to myself because I'm totally overthinking this and I do not like this I just think what does it need it needs something and I just don't know why <laughs> I do this to myself all the time all the time I thought I'd go with a darker top to show you that it is a flip top. And I think I'll put this on the inside. So I guess I can go ahead and glue that down now because I know for a fact that I want to put that in there. Unfortunately, that's just going to have to show. It's going to have to pretend like it's not there. I thought about doing something like that. I thought maybe that would be cute. I think I like that. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go with. Okay. So we're going to glue the top now. Sorry that took so long. I don't even know. Yeah, we're at 10 minutes already. 
for something that should have taken a lot less. Oh my. So what we'll do is we'll put this up here and then, you know, it could be like a little journaling spot or something. I think I had it the other way a while ago. I liked it. Yeah, like that. Okay. Now we just got to ink it up. I wish I would have inked that up before I put it on there, but that's all right. <laughs> See how she looks after we ink her up. Sometimes that's all it needs is a little bit of ink. And then you're like, oh, yeah, that looks good. Hmm. How is that coming apart? Oh, yeah, I glued that down, and I guess it wasn't that sticky. I guess I need to do the whole thing, huh? Okay. Well, since it's up, it was crooked. That's put it on straight now. Unfortunately, it was my flower that this piece that I put on not straight and. That's not going to come off, so it's all good. We'll just leave it how it is. Make sure that didn't glue on the inside. And it won't, it's wanting to, but it'll be okay. Okay, let's finish inking it up. All that white spots I can ink on up. You can't even tell it's there anymore. There we go. It don't look half bad. It's coming together, isn't it? We need to put something on there, don't you think? What can we put on there? I know we're going to have the brads on there, but... It's crooked, too. It's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to try not to let it drive me crazy. Jiminy. So, now we have a pocket... I'm sorry, I'm sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, so I had somebody gift me these adorable dragonfly wings. Now, at first, I'll be honest with you, I was like, what am I going to use those for? But you know what? I think a pair of wings on here would look adorable. Let's see what colors we got. Oh, what is that? It's a few pieces of vellum. Cute. Flower. I'm not even sure what to do with that, but super adorable. There's some really cute stuff in here. Oh, look at that. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I don't think I like it, but it's weird. It's, I don't think it's a sticker. It's so super weird. Man. I really wish that was a sticker. if I could glue that on if the glue would show through because I'm really feeling it I really like it sorry I was looking to see if that would stick on 
work on something else. You know what? We're going to try it. We're going to see how it works out. I kind of want double wings right there. Don't you guys think? Oh, looky here. These match. Okay, so let's see what we got to do about getting that stuck on. I'm going to try to use my Fabri-Tac and hope that it don't mess this whole thing up. So we're going to try something together. I don't know what it is. See, it's like plastic. But since Fabri-Tac is clear, maybe it'll dry clear too. Squish it all down. Oh yes! Looks good. Let's get the backing off these. Which way do they go? They go down or up? Up. There we go. Look at that, guys. Isn't it cute? It says adventures. Now I'm starting to like it. It's coming together. Okay, let's move these out of the way and let's get our brads put in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to need our, you're going to need an awl or a sharp pointy thing like this. You're going to need a book to poke into. And you can just guesstimate or you can measure. And I'm never good at this, so I'm going to measure this a little bit. Four and a quarter. So mine needs to go about right here. Now this next part is very challenging. So you know what I do? Is I just put my uh, brad all the way through it. So that's what we're going to do here. It's just too hard to get on the inside of there, so I just put it all the way through. Let's grab two all or two brads. These match perfectly too. And now would be a good time to add your string. So you're gonna get some string. Sorry I wasted most of this video talking to myself or talking to you guys and trying to figure out what I was going to do. I guess the good thing is, is you guys get to know me a little bit better. So we're just going to tie it like that and then tie it again in a knot. Cut that string off. Put the other brad in. Oh, I'm not even in frame. I'm sorry. You don't want that brad too tight or else you won't be able to get your string behind it. There. There we go. And there we have it. That's the finished. That's what we made together. Isn't that cute up there? It says adventures. I'm going to have to keep pushing it down so it don't get no bubbles while it dries. It has a little set of wings. That's what we made. Then you just glue it to a page and it's a tag holder. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope I didn't talk too much. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And you have a wonderful day.